Why did orcas start sinking boats? In 2020, a family of four was sailing off the coast of Spain when their boat was suddenly rammed by a pod of orcas. The boat sank quickly and the family was forced to abandon the ship. They were lucky to survive, but obviously shaken by the experience. This is just one of many reports of orcas attacking boats in recent years. In some cases, the orcas have even killed people. So, what's going on? Why are these creatures suddenly becoming so aggressive toward humans? Well, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at four possible reasons why orcas started sinking boats. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Trauma Turned Culture First off, there's a pretty good theory as to why killer whales or orcas might be sinking boats on purpose. Some experts think it could actually be because of past bad experiences. For example, an orca named White Gladys who lives in the Strait of Gibraltar and is known for her aggressive behavior toward wandering boats. This probably began with Gladys being hit by a ship herself, and that could be why she started hitting and eventually sinking boats with her body. Other orcas in her group might have learned this from her, or she may have transmitted this belief that boats will hurt them to her children. There's some evidence that actually supports this idea as well. White Gladys has been seen hitting boats many times in the Strait of Gibraltar, which is a place with a lot of boat traffic. She's even been involved in situations where boats were sunk. Also, she has scars on her body, which suggests she's had contact with boats in the past. This theory becomes more interesting when we remember that orcas are really smart and can learn from each other. So, if White Gladys started hitting boats because of a scary experience, other orcas might have seen her and thought it was a way to protect themselves too. This could have turned into a culture with all the orcas in her surrounding doing it. What's interesting is that each pod may have its unique set of behaviors, vocalizations, hunting techniques, and even preferences for certain types of food. So, one pod of orcas might be hostile to boats, while another pod might be relatively passive. It all depends on the culture that is being transmitted throughout the pod. Number 2. Playful Behavior Another interesting theory says that the orca's interaction with boats might not be driven solely by aggression, but could actually be a form of play. Picture a group of kids playing games at a park. They might tag each other, run around, and laugh. Similarly, scientists are suggesting that when orcas ram into boats, they might be engaging in a version of play. Just as kids enjoy touching and interacting with their friends during games, orcas could find it exciting to touch boats as part of their playtime. Beyond play, the concept of imitation could play a significant role in this behavior. We've all seen how kids often imitate what their friends or family members do. Orcas might be doing something similar by copying the behaviors of other marine animals. A good example of this playful behavior is seen in the waters of Puget Sound in the 1960s by an orca known as Namu. Also referred to as Killer Whale A1, this was a young male orca who exhibited a remarkable curiosity and attraction to boats. Namu's playful nature was characterized by his tendency to approach boats with a sense of enthusiasm rather than aggression. Instead of displaying the aggressive behaviors that some might associate with killer whales, Namu would often swim alongside boats, riding in their wake and even playfully bumping their hulls. His actions were characterized by an air of lightheartedness, sparking the curiosity of those who observed him. The problem lies in the fact that an orca might go too far with being playful. The killer whale is no small marine mammal. On average, adult male orcas can reach lengths of about 20 to 26 feet, 6 to 8 meters, and can weigh around 8,000 to 12,000 pounds, 3,600 to 5,400 kilograms. 
For a small sailboat to be approached and struck by a massive orca, it wouldn't be wrong to assume that the boat may sink, even if its intentions weren't of an aggressive nature. Number 3. Food Competition Despite their status as apex predators, orcas do not exist in isolation within their marine ecosystems. While they carry remarkable hunting skills and occupy the upper ranks of the food chain, competition for resources is an inherent part of their existence. One interesting perspective on the phenomenon of orcas sinking boats suggests that these interactions might stem from a desire to establish dominance, ward off competitors, or secure access to precious food resources. Orcas, as top predators, rely on a diverse range of prey species to sustain themselves. Depending on their geographic location and the specific population they belong to, their diets may encompass fish, squid, seals, sea lions, and even other species of whales. In truth, commercial and recreational fishing activities can sometimes deplete prey populations, leading to potential conflicts between orcas and humans over shared resources. This scarcity of prey could motivate orcas to employ various strategies to secure their food sources, and one such strategy might involve intimidating potential competitors, including fishermen, through interactions with boats. The idea is that Orca might be using boat ramming as a means of intimidation isn't far-fetched and aligns with their highly adaptable behavior and social dynamics. By displaying a formidable show of force through boat interactions, Orcas could be sending a clear message to other animals or humans encroaching on their hunting grounds. This message could be akin to saying, this is our territory and we won't back down. If orcas perceive a correlation between boats and the presence of competitors, they might associate boats with threats to their food supply. This learned behavior could lead to a pattern of boat ramming as a defense mechanism. Number 4. Habitat Loss The orcas' interactions with boats and their increasing aggression could potentially be linked to a concerning issue habitat loss caused by expanding human activities. As human development encroaches upon their natural habitats, the intricate balance that sustains these creatures is disrupted, possibly triggering behavioral responses that manifest as boat interactions. Consider the intense relationship between orcas and their surroundings. These creatures have evolved over generations to thrive within specific ecosystems comprising networks of water, prey, and other species. However, as human populations grow and human activities expand, these ecosystems often undergo transformations that challenge the equilibrium. Orcas, being highly attuned to their environment, might perceive these changes intensely. They rely on their habitat for food, shelter, and social interactions. But as urbanization, coastal construction, pollution, and noise pollution escalate, their once familiar environment begins to morph into something foreign and potentially threatening. The stress and disruption caused by these changes can reverberate through their social structure and behavioral patterns. The increasing aggression observed in orcas interacting with boats could be an expression of this heightened stress. Feeling cornered, orcas might adopt defensive behaviors, including confrontations with boats, as a response to their changing world. A study published in the journal Marine Ecology Progress Series found that orcas in the Broughton Archipelago, British Columbia, were more likely to attack boats when their food supply was limited. The study's authors suggested that the orcas may have been trying to scare away boats in order to protect their food sources. A good example from history would be when, in 2022, a pod of orcas attacked and sank a 12-meter fishing boat off the coast of Portugal. The boat, named Albacora Tre, 
was carrying a crew of three people when it was attacked. The orcas rammed the boat repeatedly, causing it to sink. The crew was able to escape to a lifeboat and were later rescued by a passing helicopter. They say that this was due to the boat dumping lots of waste into the ocean, like plastic bags, metal cans and straws. This incident goes to show that when you harm the planet, the planet will fight back. And that's just a few reasons that orcas have been sinking ships in recent years. Let us know in the comments down below if you think there are any other reasons too. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this.